Imagine getting paid just for sharing your thoughts on products and services you use every day. With Survey Junkie, it's that simple. Click on the link in the video description to discover how you can start earning today by taking surveys. The Duke of Westminster's new wife Olivia Henson beams in official photos from the Society Wedding of the Year. Billionaire aristocrat Hugh Grosvenor, 33, tied the knot with Miss Henson, 31, at Chester Cathedral yesterday. The couple announced their engagement in April last year after being together for two years. Prince William was also in attendance at the ceremony to perform his duties as an usher, but his brother Harry, also one Hugh Grosvenor's closest friends, did not go, choosing to remain in California instead. The Duke of Westminster is the godfather to William's son Prince George and Harry's son Archie. The bride's veil was designed by Emma Victoria Payne and featured an embroidery design which incorporated floral motifs from Miss Henson's great-great-grandmother's veil from around 1880. Her dress was made by the same designer and she accessorized with blue shoes and the Faberge Myrtle Leaf Tiara made for Grosvenor brides to wear on their wedding day, which has been in the family since 1906. A floral arch was constructed around the huge west door of the 1,000-year-old cathedral in the heart of the city and a staggering 100,000 flowers have been planted throughout the city, all paid for by the Duke, which will be donated to charity now the ceremony is over. Everything almost went wrong at around 12.30 p.m. yesterday when two silver-haired Just Stop Oil fanatics tried to ruin the joyous occasion by using fire extinguishers to spray powder paint in the direction of the wedding party, which included the Prince of Wales, as they left Chester Cathedral. The protesters were quickly removed from the crowd by police as onlookers booed. They were named by JSO as Polly, 73, a care worker from Norfolk, and Sheila, 69, a former NHS nurse from Bristol. After the ceremony finished around 1 p.m., around 400 guests including Princess Eugenie and TV producer Phil Redmond, left the venue in coaches to go to a lavish reception at the Grosvenor family seat, Eaton Hall, just outside Chester. A spokesperson for the Duke and Ms. Henson said they put their own personal stamp on all the arrangements ranging from the flowers to food. However, in one major twist, the Duke of Westminster eschewed the traditional English service popular with aristocratic couples. As a result, the service at Chester Cathedral, attended by Prince William and Princess Eugenie, was in contemporary language rather than 17th century English. Most Church of England weddings use the words from the marriage service from common worship which offers a greater choice of readings and prayers. But some couples prefer a ceremony using language such as the and thou instead of you and may use the Book of Common Prayer from 1662. The Dean of Chester, the very Reverend Dr. Tim Stratford told Mail Online that the couple were having a contemporary service rather than using the 1662 Book of Common Prayer, which includes the line that matrimony should not be entered into lightly or wantonly to satisfy men's carnal lusts and appetites, like brute beasts that have no understanding. The dean, who is officiating the wedding, added, in many ways this is like any other couple getting married, just on a larger scale, because they are somewhat in the public eye and some of their guests are definitely in the public eye. The couple at the center of this want to declare their undying love for one another in the presence of witnesses, family and friends and we are here to provide the stage. In addition, there is also an updated version of the 1662 service, known as Alternative Services, Series 1, which was used by the Prince and Princess of Wales for their wedding. Universally known as Huey to aristocratic friends, the Duke of Westminster is estimated to be worth £10.42 billion, making him the richest man under 40 in Britain.